Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Great White Beer. Beer with natural flavors added. I hate to see that when I put that on the label. Natural flavors added. Why do we need natural flavors added? All we need is water, yeast, hops, barley. That's all the four things we need in the beer. Come on guys. Uh, great White Beer, 12 fluid ounces. But I wonder what they've added. And I wonder if we'll like what they've added. Got a date on the neck here, guys. So Better than the one we had yesterday. At least we got a date on the, the bottle here that we can read. So We'll have to give the guys a thumbs up on that. Great White, Lost Coast Brewery and Cafe. Eureka, California on this one, guys. So Wit Beer, 4.80. Very light, very sessionable. Year-round serving on this one. So uh, I don't know if they actually make this all year-round. They may... Uh, usually the wit beers are more your spring, summer type deals, so uh, I'm looking for something a little heavier. In the fall, I like the, the spicier beers, the pumpkin beers and, and stuff like that. And uh, in the wintertime, fall, I like the porters and south. Of course, I drink those during the summer too, but the, the cooler weather tends to, to, for me to like the thicker, chunkier beers. So. Food pairing for this is the cheeses of peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, your tangy cheeses, brick, adam, feta. Uh, the meat for this is poultry, fish, and shellfish. Glassware is the pint glass, becker, the nonic, the tumbler, the pilsner glass, the pokel, the mug. This is a glass I use for the pilsner, guys. I got a lot of my subs. That ain't the right glass. It's good as it gets, guys. That's what we're going to use it for. The uh, beer is not recommended for extended cellaring, being less than a 5% ABV beer, so let's not cellar it any longer. I'll put its head into the glass. I think we can get a head on this one. Let's see if we can. There you go, guys. A lot of guys say, uh, oh, you don't part me, you don't do this, you don't do that. We need more head, need less head. I'm not a big head fan. There you go. There's the head on the glass. A good two-finger head. Nice whipped beer. Very light colored, golden color. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Looks very good in the glass, does it not, guys? That's the perfect picture of a glass of beer. Especially a whipped beer or something light like that. A lot of good carbonation going on there. Now the head is starting to dissipate a little bit. We're still down about a finger and a half. Get a nose on it, guys. I'm getting coriander. It's got a, sit a nice citrusy herbal smell to it. Definitely some lemons going on in there. I can smell that too. Well, smells decent. We're down to about a finger of head. Smells very pleasant, very light, very uh, lawnmower-ish lawnmower beer to me. That's why I like, call these uh, less than 5%, very light, sessionable beers. Nice on a hot day. Cheers, guys. The nose is better than the taste. The taste is not off, it's just very weak. Not a lot. It's got a little bit going on with a few different things, but nothing that's blowing my hair back or anything. Very sessionable, very light. 4.8. Light on the ABV, light on the taste. Almost to the chick beer status to me. Kind of sweet. A little lemony. 
little bit of coriander. Not a lot of banana. Not a lot of clove. Just a little bit. Just a trace. Just not a lot of taste going on with this one, guys. Very entry level to me on a wet beer scale. Well, it's right out of the fridge. We're going to let it warm up just a tad. Not blowing my socks off right now, guys. Maybe a tad above average. Maybe average again. I hate to have two average beers in a row. Or a little less than average. We'll see, guys. Let the other half taste it. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. Stick around. Alright, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is fairly lightweight. Uh, the only thing I can say is uh, nothing... Nothing, nothing I can say other than natural flavors added. Natural, no artificial flavors, but something's been added here. So I'm not a big big fan of that. And other than that, it's got the date on the bottle. It's a pretty bland beer, pretty thin, pretty watery. Uh, it's okay. I mean, uh, not blowing my socks off of my hair back, guys. You get a little bit of coriander, and it's a little citrusy, but there's a lot better offerings, uh, and this is nothing would not be something I would seek out. Like I said, the advantage of this has got the date on the neck there, so you know how old the beer is. So, I will show. May even be on the side of the, of the chick beer. I even like my lawnmower beer to have just a little more taste than this. So, uh, Guys, it's a, it's a C beer, but since it's got the date on it, you know how fresh it is, and, and if it's over a month or two old, leave it there. I'm going to give it to 5 instead of the 4. It's a B- minus in my book. Uh, if you've had this, give me some comments back on this one, guys. You liked it, loved it, best thing you ever had. Didn't like it. Uh, it was okay. Uh, wouldn't seek it out, but if, if it was offered, I'd drink it. The, uh, the ratings from Rank Beer is 45 overall, 49 in style. So, not impressive numbers there. And Beer Abbott comes up with a 77, which is 77, which is their average. So, uh, nothing to write home about there on those numbers, guys. So, uh, Fairly average beer. Uh, the only good thing going forward is got the date on the neck here, so you know how old it is. So that being said, give me comments back if you've had it, and if you hadn't had it, let's see it. Give, pick it up, try. You may like it. I wasn't impressed with it, guys. So that being said, we're gonna get out of here. Hit the like button if you like it. So we got some shirts, some openers. We go check the fridge tomorrow. See y'all then.